Bill Nye here, getting ready to prepare the perfect sneaker. We'll start with this Air Force One. We could make it into one of these. Bling it up. But I think the color's off a little. Let's try this. Ah, that's more like it. We had our chance to go green and we did. I've created the perfect pair. What's up everybody, it's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with science educator and pop culture icon, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Icon. It's true. I'm a pop culture icon. Whew. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna yes. see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. I need them. Let's go. Bill, I want to talk about a couple years ago on like the Nike app, you were doing this guided run. So many people on Twitter were like, man, I just beat my personal best by 20 seconds listening to Bill Nye. <laughs> it's all me. Yeah, talk about like how you literally guided people's runs back then. Well, I, I've run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was in high school, the running coach was uh, an Olympic uh, steeplechaser. Okay. And he emphasized you try to not have your head bob up and down. And you know, this whole business, in those days it was pre-Fontaine. Yeah. This whole thing about the heel strike. Yep. But you just gotta run the way your body runs. You can get obsessed with trying to be on the balls of your feet and settle to the heel or you can try. But it depends whether you're sprinting or going a long way. Just the whole thing is you wanna bob up and down. Today I wanna like get a lot of your takes and like expert opinion on technology. So we're in the Nike running section. We have the Air Max 95. Air the Max, Air Max 95. 90s. The Air Max 97s with like these, What's the difference these, 95, 97? Well, the air bubble kind of Whoa. progressed. They're so lightweight. Oh, look at the woo. Yeah. Wow. So do you think more air bubbles better function or that's not really the case? Or what is your take on that? The answer is absolutely without question. It depends. Okay. Where I live often, I want to run on the asphalt, not mm -hmm. the sidewalk, not okay. the cement, because the asphalt is softer, mm -hmm. more forgiving. And so this whole thing is, in the big picture, kind of a prosthetic. You know, books have been written about running barefoot and yes. uh, running barefoot on grass. But you try running barefoot on concrete, there may be some gifted guy out there who mm -hmm. can pull it off. Were you ever a big bubble guy? No, okay. but I'm not, not anti-bubble. Okay. I was just never a big bubble guy. Okay. I, I, I'm, uh, if the bubble works for you, then bubble it. We're in the basketball section. Players used to play in the Converse Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor Converse All-Star basketball shoes were the state of the art. Exactly, that's I what I want to talk about. Look at where we come, And they though. sucked. I'm sorry, I'm sure no, they're, just... they're fine things, but the heel, talk about heel strike with those bad boys. Right. And so I found when I was a kid, US Keds okay. gave me a little more arch. All right. And then the other one that was very good was Jack Purcell. Converse. Yeah. Wait, Jack Purcell better than the Chuck Taylor? Fit on my on my foot. You were getting buckets in them? I'm sh oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sort of in the same vein as the running sneakers, Spike Lee famously said in the Michael Jordan commercial, it's got to be the shoes. It was for the Jordan 5. Looking at that, was it the player or the shoes, Bill? Oh, it's all the shoes. <laughs> right. I don't think, you know. And what happened, you know, Michael Jordan went to play baseball. Yes. Thinking super athlete, he can just do anything. And that's generally true. But I think in baseball, he didn't quite have the right shoes. Not as good as he was in basketball. Mm -hmm. Right. The but Jordan the, 5. Jordan 5. Yeah. The fifth edition, it's got to be the shoes. How much impact do you think it had on, on the world? No, everybody on, not wanted on the world, these. On Jordan, no, every yes. kid in the world still, wanted still. these. Because if I just had these, yes. I could be a professional ball player. Yes. So, uh, but I'm sure it helped Michael Jordan because he thought about it all the time. Yeah. You and I, or at least I, yeah. when I go to buy when I go to buy shoes, I think about shoes. Mm -hmm. But a guy at that level was thinking about every aspect Everything. of the game all the time, Definitely. including his shoes. Bill, sustainability, we're seeing it more nowadays in sneakers with brands. What do you think about what's going on with these? We have like the Adidas 4D and the Ultra Boost all using kind of like more sustainable materials. 
Well, what we're going to do, this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. Since the stuff's everywhere, let's reuse it. Yeah. And uh, the styles are very cool. I guess uh, these are very appealing to me. This one. So wait, this is important. This is the Yeezy Kanye West Foam Runner made of algae foam. Really? Yes, and it's super, super popular. Uh, I can see the, it looks like the future. It looks like a uh, science fiction movie. And it stays on your foot, huh? Yeah, and a lot of people wear it like, on the beach, like well, travel. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it has that uh, the same people that might wear the Crocs. Exactly. Not to drop names. All right, but, but Kanye West, Adidas, his line made him a billionaire. He has a bunch of. Okay, this made Kanye West a billionaire. One, it played Why into it. Why am I not a? Come on, people. It played into it, but it, it uses algae foam. What do you think about in terms of design, though, of the, of this shoe and it being sustainable? Well, it's so lightweight, you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, so it might be gr great, but it doesn't. For me, it doesn't have laces, which I'm open-minded, but I think it might not stay on my foot. But algae, you know, is the ocean's weed, mm -hmm. and I mean this respectfully. It's okay. the sea plant that we all depend on. So. If you live in Nebraska in the winter, live in the heartland, mm -hmm. a third of the air you breathe comes from algae. Mm. The oxygen you breathe comes from algae. So I'm all for it. All for it. If this really works. And this Nike is the Space Hippie using the reusable. The Space that's, Hippie. That's what it's called. Whoa. Also very lightweight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> using This using is very moon, moon, moon booty. Exactly. Is there something in here? Because I got to say. Uh, maybe the stuffing. It's not, this doesn't strike me as especially flexible. That? We'd have to try it. Last shoe to talk about. I know what? that I know Already? that you're big into space exploration. Galaxy foam posits. One Galaxy of the foam one posits. One of the most hyped Nike basketball sneakers in the last decade or so. Penny Hardaway used to wear them, but they did these Galaxy foam posits. They also did the Big Bang LeBrons, the orange, which was another space themed shoe. How do we feel about this aesthetic, though? And I'm the theme. the aesthetic. You know, we at the Planetary Society are crazy for this aesthetic. Mm -hmm. With the, the planets, that purple, we're a big fan of. Our logo has got some purple in it. And I'm a huge fan of Remove Before Flight. Pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, walking around airplanes, there's a lot of Remove Before Flight. There's pins in the control surfaces that when you're doing maintenance, and then, of course, the pitot tube, the airspeed indicator. That's just very cool. Yeah. Now, I will question this, my Nikenian friends. Okay. This looks very really hot. Mm. Hot and sweaty shoe to me. It's, it's just, heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, I mean, there's no breathing. I'm all about the net. What'd you call it? Fly mesh? Uh, it's like a fly knit type of... Fly knit. Yeah. Fly knit. Yeah, there's a little bit of fly knit happening on the tongue, g -g 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 -g, but uh, it looks like it'd be hot, but you know. Aesthetically, though, pretty cool, right? What about aesthetics? And what about once you put these on, you're playing pro ball. I mean... That's it. They're going to call you in two weeks once they see, you know, sky in with these bad boys on. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Galaxy phone pods. And what happens here? This just flops around. Some people leave it on, some people take it off. How many people take it off? I don't know. Well, few. not a lot of people wear these because they're so valuable, so they keep them in the collection. They keep them in the closet. Yeah. Your closet full of shoes you don't wear. You know, you wear those today, we break the internet. You buy the, you wear these today, Galaxy phone posits, the internet is broken. That's how. Well, I like the internet. That's true. That's good. <laughs> good response. <laughs> Me too, sometimes. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelf, see where you're gonna take home. Browse the shelf. Woo! Let's do Thank it. you, Joe. Big Thank fun, you. man. Welcome to Stadium Goods. How may I help you? I need a pair of shoes for hiking. A little heavier than running shoe. Okay, well, we have a great option right here with the Salehi New Balance. What's this here? This is actually a whistle. You could take your sneaker off and blow into that whistle and hopefully somebody finds you. Your shoe whistle is yeah. what it is. And also for bears. But seriously, as a guy of a certain age, mm -hmm. the New Balance fit me very well. I can tell you from here, my wife would like this color. What's happening here? Uh, this is very cool also. I gotcha. Hey, Bill, did you find everything all right yes, today? Yes, this is it. This dope, is very dope. cool. Very Got you excited. Three Can pairs of New this? Balances and a sock. So, our total for today is going to be $9.46 and 12 cents. It's what you need. Yeah. All right. How can I walk around without these? Cool. All right. Here's your car back. I'm going to bag these up for you and you'll be all set. Bag them up. 
All right, Bill. Once again, thank you for Look stopping these, in at Stadium today. The slide the socks these are all there. yours. Oh yeah. Thank you. Have very a good much. one. It was a pleasure. <laughs> You're so lightweight. Carry on, you guys. So, Bill and I came through, gave us so much knowledge. Thanks so much for taking the time. Oh no, it is we who must thank you. Woo! Thanks again. Make sure everyone checks out The End Is Nigh, coming to Peacock later this year. Don't miss it if you can. Turn it up loud. Thanks, Joe. You heard it.